Hey everybody, welcome back to the Post Frame Podcast. In today's episode, we're talking about four foot on center buildings. So what, why? Let's get it. Yeah, why now? Yeah. Well, I, I already kind of said one. One of the whys is a lot of those local lumber yards don't have an engineer that are that are actually designing uh, a more engineered building package. Mm -hmm. And the, the benefit of forefront on center is not actually to the customer, right? And I, and I think a lot of times we hear from the, from the customer's comments that is stronger. And so they, they feel they're getting yeah. a bigger benefit. We'll talk about that maybe in a second and compare the, some of those details. The benefit is actually to the contractor. It's a, it's a very contractor friendly way of designing a building to then erect it and put it up. So what I mean by that is a four foot on center building typically has um, a set of headers, an inside and an outside, two by 10 or two by 12, mm -hmm. that runs the entire length of the building attached to the inside of the column and the outside of the column. And that's where your truss sits. That creates some flexibility for where do your columns actually go? This, this, this might be something that people might don't actually know or, or might be surprised by. A four foot on center truss building does not mean four foot on center columns for that building. It's typically eight to 10, actually. Okay. Uh, probably most common is eight foot on center where you have a column every other truss. So by way of how that connection's made, your wall, column, headers, truss, that creates flexibility for where those columns actually go mm -hmm. because your, your truss is not is not directly tied to your column. It's sitting, and also that, it's sitting on top of that header. Okay. Right. And, so, and so flexibility, and that is good for a builder, depending on where windows are at, overhead doors, bit bigger doors, right? It just allows some movement that doesn't, that doesn't totally impact the structure above, right? The roof system. Okay. But there's some negatives in that too, because um, you, you get those columns too far apart if the builder or the, the lumber yard doesn't actually go to the work of, of re-engineering that header up there, you could have you could have too many trusses sitting on that header and it hasn't actually been calculated to carry that, that weight, right? If it gets to 10, 11, 12, even beyond, uh, because you have an opening there, mm -hmm. right? So, so there's some flexibility in that. Uh, and I'm already kind of getting into some of the differences, but the other thing that creates some flexibility or ease for a builder is the way the purlins are done. So the purlins are laid flat Instead of if most buildings that are that are beyond four foot on center, those purlins are actually sitting on the truss. This is the top quarter of my truss. The purlins would typically sit on edge, okay? Yeah. Which is the stronger direction for a purlin, mm -hmm. right? In a four foot on center building, they're laying flat. And that's that's an easier thing if, if you think about from a carpenter perspective, it's much easier to put fasteners in a on the floor three, in a three and a half inch space versus a one and a half inch space. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, that's a lot easier. It's also a lot easier to walk on because they're they're not on edge and you kind of got to as a builder walking on walking up purlins can be a bit of a trick. Yeah. Uh, take some skill. Mm -hmm. And so then laying flat just creates movement for the builders up around the uh, up and around the roof easier, creates easier fastening. But there are downsides that that we'll talk about maybe maybe here in a second. So that that to me is the biggest why. Uh, okay. it is it's because those suppliers typically have multiple builders, multiple contractors that may come to them for their post frame building. See, right? A, a lumber yard is typically not going to have their own crew base, right? Okay. They sell their post frame packages through other builders that have a crew of two or three guys. They're meeting with clients, right? And then those builders come get materials from them. Okay. And so they want to provide as much flexibility for the, the array of builders that come get materials from them as they can. All right, Blair. Well, thanks for stopping by again. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks. All right. Jay. Thank you.